What is up everybody, Jordan here with the Duck Box coming back to you today with a new profile and what we're actually looking at is the new Lucario GX card that I know a lot of people have been hyping up. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's the new Galissapod, um, but better because it hits for fighting weakness of course. Uh, right now, Galissapod doesn't really hit anything for weakness, there's not a lot of grass weak right now. Um, it's really more just like Lycanroc and the occasional Regirock that you see. Uh, but no like really main portions of a deck. So what we see that's great about Lucario is it essentially does the same thing as Glissopod where you get to swing for an additional 90 damage if you um, follow through with such and such effect, which in this case it's evolving from Ryolu during this turn. Uh, so that's similar to coming into the active, but it's almost easier in some instances to do that. However, and this is my big thing on it, and this is why I'm not a thousand percent sold, but I am excited to look into the card, is that um, <clears throat> you can't really spam this as much as you could with Glissopod. Uh, with Glissopod, you could Guzma, you could Ace Roll, things like that, and just keep cycling through. Um, so that's my biggest issue, but like I said, it's easier to do it initially, and chances are with this, you are taking a knockout on something like a Zorark, you're taking your two prizes, you're getting your money's worth. Um, and so from there, you're, you're in a good spot and then you're able to build up from there and you have some other solid attacks. So I can definitely see the merit. I am excited about this card. Uh, but now I'm going to show you this list. What we're going to be looking at, <clears throat> excuse me, and I know we've seen a lot of Lucario Zorark. So I wanted to try out um, a little bit different list. Actually, I was coaching some tonight and I, I asked them, I said, what do you want me to record? Do you want me to do Lucario Garbodor or Lucario Zorark? And he said, you know what? Zorark is just kind of overkill right now. It's everywhere. I said, all right, that, that takes care of it for me. I'm going to do Garbodor. Um, so the list, I'm calling it Lucarbador, or we can call it Garbacario. I don't care. Just some goofy name. Um, <clears throat> but what we're going to be focusing on is that main attack with Lucario. From there, we can shut down abilities like you see in like a Glissopod Garbodor. So if it's looking familiar, there's a reason for it. Um, and then, of course, using Trash Lance to follow things up later in the game. So right now, I'm going to run through the lines. First, I do want to start off looking at um, the Ryolu, actually. Um, my friend who's been uh, testing with Lucario a little bit said that he saw a lot of people using the Ultra Prism Ryolu, because that's the, the latest one. Um, but I just want to throw this out there that, in my opinion, um, and I think it would probably be the opinion of most, the Ryolu from Crimson Invasion is actually better. Uh, they both have the same HP, so nothing different there. The attacks on the Ryolu from Ultra Prism uh, detect you can prevent the effects of attacks of damage as long as you flip a heads. <clears throat> That's okay. Uh, and then Jab for 10. Again, it's okay. Uh, strong Energy Swing for 30. You can one-shot Zeruas with that, um, but that's about as far as it goes. But uh, what my friend was looking at is, of course, you have Punch. Same thing, you can one-shot a Zerua or an Eevee that just happens to not be evolved for some reason. Um, but what he was looking at is, you can actually one-shot um, Hoopas with Ryolu. You know, in the matchup where you can't use your uh, GXs to attack, <clears throat> that uh, uh, Ryolu can actually help in that. Um, obviously, you have to attach a couple strong energies, so you're swinging for 70, but then you're one-shotting those Hoopas. Um, if for some reason you're unable to get both of them attached, I understand that. Uh, at least the one, or if not, just use punch a couple times and you're taking those uh, hoopas down. That's kind of your option. <coughs> Excuse me, I am fighting a cold right now, so I do apologize for that. <clears throat> so that's uh, your option with Ryolu there is between these two, and honestly, I would just say the Crimson Invasion one is better. So that is why we are going with it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, from there, we're running three of the new Lucario GX, um, which, as I mentioned, the first attack, Aura Strike, you're doing a base of 30. If this Pokemon evolved from Ryolu during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. So you're swinging for 120, but if you know anything about fighting Pokemon, you know that there is strong energy right now. So strong energy, you're up to 140, it adds 20 damage. Choice Bane, you're doing 170. What has 170 and is in every list? Tapu Lele. So you're able to just one shot those which is great uh, if you don't have a strong energy or choice man doesn't matter what's played in about 50% of decks right now Zorark so aura strike is gonna one shot Zoroark's it's gonna one shot Lele's that's good enough for me and it's two shotting everything else I'm okay with that um, I think that's decent and then from there we have some better attacks um, <clears throat> if you're able to build up you have cyclone kick for 130 damage to strong energy or I'm sorry to fighting energy 
and a colorless, and of course, you can do the math from there. If we add a strong energy in the choice band, you're doing 180, two strong energy in choice band, 200, yada, 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 builds up. So that's a solid thing to look at. You can still build up from there. 130 is not a bad number. And then if you have the strong energy, if you have the choice band, you're just doing more. <clears throat> then we have this GX attack, uh, Cantankerous Beatdown GX, 30 times. This attack does 30 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So basically you've got to one shot this thing or it's just going to wreck you. Um, so let's do some simple math. If it gets hit for 40, just a little tiny poke, you're swinging for 120. That's not bad. Okay. But if you look at a big poke, okay, let's say, uh, let's look at Glaceon. Okay. Glaceon would hit you for 90, maybe 120 uh, with a choice band. Um, so 90, you're now hitting back for 270. I mean, you're just annihilating it. So, <clears throat> like I said, unless you're just like doing a tiny poke and then a big knockout hit, you, you need to one-shot this thing. That's kind of your goal. Um, so, as far as playing against Lucario, that's what you need to focus on. In the mirror match, I think that's also what you need to focus on is one-shotting this. So, that's why I think using Trash Lanch in this deck will allow you to have a little bit of an edge over the mirror match because a lot of the mirror matches are going to be some form of like a Lycanroc, um, Lucario, I saw one online, uh, Lucario Buzzwall, I'm going to be looking at that over the next couple days, uh, Lucario Zoroark, okay, so those are kind of your options. So, <clears throat> Zoroark, obviously really easy, you just take down the Zoroarks. Um, Lycanroc, it's a little tougher, you can't just take down Lycanrocs, and you can't just take down Lucarios unless you have some sort of psychic Pokemon. And yes, I know there is Mew, and we could toss that into any of those other lists. But I feel like Garbodor kind of helps because you are running through items. This is a one uh, energy attacker, able to kind of speed things up a bit. Um, Mew obviously can't have that same effect as Lucario from evolving from Raolu. So it's not going to swing for the extra damage. So this is a more consistent psychic damage uh, to be able to follow through on. Um, and that's why I, I included it in this list. <clears throat> <clears throat> and on top of that, we do have uh, a ton of abilities out, um, and so we run, whoa, where'd it go? So we run two of the uh, Garbotox and Garbodor as well. So we do a simple uh, four Trubbish, and then a two-two split of the Garbodors, and also make sure to use this Trubbish from Breakpoint, has the better attack, and that's why we use it. <clears throat> we run just two Lele, uh, just to get our supporters, whoops, excuse me, just to get our supporters out um, and set up. Uh, that's kind of the goal is to make sure that we can get things set up and we want to use those early um, as opposed to later Obviously, we're gonna have ability shut off anyway <clears throat> From there we just run one field blower. Uh, this is just to get the occasional um, Stadium out of the way that might cause problems for us um, Or of course if if we can get some tools into the discard that would add a little bit more damage to do a knockout with Garbodor that's a solid way to do it. So we did include one of those. We have uh, some recovery cards with Rescue Stretcher, Special Charge, and Super Rod. Those are ways to get back Pokemon and Energy. And I know it's kind of odd including Super Rod and Stretcher, <coughs> excuse me, but um, running such a low count of basic energy, I wanted to include the Super Rod kind of for that, but also for Pokemon if that is a better option. But then we also want the Stretcher for Pokemon. I know it's kind of an odd inclusion. I just wanted to call that out I know you guys notice it but uh, I wanted to try it out with this one <clears throat> from there we do have some search uh, engines with ultra ball uh, obviously we need to find all of our Pokemon we don't run you know too many I mean 17 but not a ton of different lines uh, so it makes it pretty easy to get what we need so we do run four of those to get out our Lucarios to evolve uh, and things like that and yes you could use Evo sodas um, just with the other cards I included in this to add some consistency I didn't have much space for it um, and I may adjust that in the future, uh, maybe to include one or two. But uh, so far, Ultra Ball, I think, will do quite well. Then we're looking at one Parallel City. Uh, this is just to kind of disrupt our opponent at certain points in the game. Uh, if we can take them down to just three Pokemon and play with this in a knockout, then uh, I'd say that's a solid way to kind of take the game. Uh, you can take down some Pokemon that they might need in the future. Uh, so that's why we include one of those. Then we have the standard two Bridget uh, with these evolving decks. <coughs> <clears throat> and that will be kind of our target turn one unless of course we get plenty of Pokemon and we're set up So it won't matter From there we have draw supporters uh, and kind of heavy on draw support too. Four Cynthia 3N and 3 Sycamore So if I was to uh, find space for 
um, a couple Evo soda. I'd probably cut, um, I would say, either the stretcher or the super ad, you know, one of those odd things, and maybe a Cynthia and or a Sycamore and kind of make space for those. But I think having those in the deck, the heavy, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, a heavy draw supporter. That's kind of a Garbodor thing. Since we can't Lele to get those things out, we need to make sure we have that consistency to get those cards. So I would probably not mess with the supporters too much, which makes it, you know, like I said, kind of a tighter list. We can't really get Evo Soda in. Um, then from there, we have three Guzma. Uh, just to be able to take the knockouts we want to take. Um, I've gone through the uh, draw supporters. And then as far as tools, we just have the three choice band. Uh, like I mentioned before, you can get Aura Strike all the way up to 170 if you play it right. Um, and then of course the four float zone that's to activate Garbotoxin that is the target that is the goal with the deck shut down abilities hit hard and then bring it home with trash Lynch. then for the energy counts we're just looking at four strong energy if you don't know what this does it uh, adds an additional 20 damage for each um, attached to your fighting Pokemon so one of these attached to a like or a, a Lucario adds the 20 damage and we're swinging for much better numbers <coughs> then from there for Rainbow Energy, we want, of course, to be able to use Garbotoxin, or I'm sorry, wrong one, Garbotoxin. Um, no, no, Trash Lynch. I said the wrong thing, clicked the right thing. So we use Rainbow Energy on Garbodor, the Trash Lynch one, to be able to take some solid knockouts, um, and this will help in the mirror match uh, tremendously. You know, they're gonna be using Ultra Balls, they're gonna be using things like that, and so if we can um, let those build up a little bit, <coughs> then we can really uh, really capitalize on it. <clears throat> then we have four fighting energy to close things out and um, that uh, kind of rounds the list off. Sorry about that. Got a message from uh, someone I'm coaching. So uh, let me close this off real quick. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hop onto the ladder real quick. I'm going to grab a couple games with it. I played a game earlier with it um, and it got set up so fast the opponent just kind of scooped after a couple turns. Um, so now I really want a chance to play this out and, and see how it goes. <clears throat> Sorry, I got an itch, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so Lightning, Psychic, Colorless. Is this Raichu? Maybe. Uh, I'm fine with it being Lightning. Uh, that's a pretty solid chance that um, we're hitting for weakness. So that makes it that much easier. <clears throat> All right, great. We start with Ryolu, which is good. And I believe we go second. I'm trying to remember. Yes, we go second. So if they get Lone Pikachu, if that's what they're running, then we're in good shape. <clears throat> Let's see here. They get Lone Lele. That's almost better. So our hand right now is kind of rough, um, simply for the fact that we have all three strong energy uh, no draw support and just a uh, stage one Pokemon. So I'm probably going to have to Ultra Ball, dump a strong energy, dump Garbodor. We can get him back and uh, dig for Lele to get Bridget and start setting things up. <coughs> um, we are going to be able to hit Lele for 30. Why not? Uh, do a little bit of damage, get things started. <clears throat> Plus it allows us to build our energy up early while they're still having a, a tough time getting things set up. They do get their Bridget. So now we get to kind of find out what they're playing a bit. Um, yeah, it is for sure a lightning deck. This will be interesting to see. Um, like I said, I'm excited it's lightning because that means we have a pretty good shot that we're going to win. Uh, and I don't want to um, get too far ahead. All right. So that's what it is. I think. Hmm. I could just Guzma take down Pikachu with Ryoli, just get things started so he only has one out there. And he elixir to it so we can take that out as well. And then just hold the Ultra Ball for me. Well, I don't want to hold it because we could get knocked out. Uh, he could just go off. <clears throat> so, let me think here. Um, so I think we still want to Ultra Ball away the Garbodor and Special energy. Um, <laughs> what we could do, we could Lele, grab something for next turn. Um, I, I like that actually. <clears throat> That's what we'll do. Alright. So, first we need to Guzma. We'll grab Pikachu. 
Um, then we're going to Lele grab a Sycamore for next turn because we're going to use everything in our hand. And um, then we should be able to breeze right through. And I know the risk is he's going to end us. Well, he's going to end us out of this, this crap, you know? So I'm really okay with it. Uh, so we're going to punch. We're going to knock out the Pikachu with energy. Take our first prize. <clears throat> so really solid. Uh, Rainbow energy. Uh, that kind of stinks we have to dump it, but that's fine. We do have a special charge, and we've already got one special energy in there, so those two will kind of work well together. Um, and really, this matchup, I don't think we're going to need uh, much Garbodor. Um, ability or Trash, or yeah, or Trash Knights, because we're going to be wanting to take our knockouts with our fighting Pokemon. Uh, I think that's really the goal. <clears throat> and we're actually going to be able to take down Patchy Risu this next turn. So we're taking two knockouts with Ryolu. Um, I'm okay with that. I am absolutely fine with that. Uh, I think that's a good way to, to get things started. Just keep building up energy here. We'll put the choice ban on, um, because eventually it may be needed. Uh, there's Lucario. That would be overkill right now. I don't think we need it. Um, I'm going to hold Ultra Ball. Yeah, I'm going to hold Ultra Ball for now. We're going to use Low Kick. Take the knockout. <clears throat> do a ton of damage to Pachirisu. And we have two Lucario now. Um, now something to remember. Okay, so this is a deck you kind of have to think things through. You don't want to just play the Lucario down just because you had it. Okay, just because I can evolve both Ryolu doesn't mean I want to. The, the target is to do one Ryolu at a time um, because you want to get the most use out of the attacks. Um, now obviously this active one, he's going to be uh, swinging for his next attack 130. He's not going to want to use the first one. Um, once I get three energy on. So, so uh, it really doesn't matter when we evolve that one. If we want to get more use out of the bench one, we can do it that way. But it's not, excuse me, it's not mandatory. Lele is going to knock us out, which really kind of sucks for us. <coughs> Especially since we could have um, taken it out if we would have gotten the Lucario evolved, but that's fine. So now we're going to need a strong energy, which we only have one left in deck. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I'm going to bring Lele up first, and we're going to float stone it. But if I get strong energy choice band, which I have the choice band, of course, um, I can do some really cool things here. Um, so we're going to do this for sure. And yeah, I think we're going to Lele for a second while we're just going to dig, dig, dig. Uh, we have such a commanding lead, and I think we'll be in good shape. If I can take this guy out, I'll definitely be in good shape. Okay, so there's the one strong energy. <clears throat> I wish I would have gotten a special charge before getting the Sycamore, but that's okay. We're going to Ultra Ball. And it really doesn't matter what we dump, because we're dumping the whole hand anyway. Going pretty aggressive here, um, but I think it's appropriate to do that. Uh, now the question is, do I want to shut down abilities? Because I could shut down a Ranguru, but I don't think that's really what I want to do. I, I want to get more Ryolu. Um, I need to make sure I have attackers. So that's the key here. <clears throat> we can get that Lucario GX back with Super Rod or Stretcher. Again, another reason to play two. All right, we miss energy. That blows. We'll place that down. Uh, duh, 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 duh. One, two, three, only three. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're just gonna click done for now. Dang. All right, so next turn we're gonna have to Ultra Ball, grab another Lucario, and use N. Um, I should have just put the Rainbow Energy on and not been so greedy, because I'd be swinging for 150, which isn't bad, and I could follow up with a knockout the next turn. Now I'm stuck with no knockout just because I was going for the one shot. <coughs> and I knew my chances weren't great, so I should have known better. So, we'll blame it on the cold. Now, we do have Guzma, and I can just take down little Pikachus here and there and just make things happen with that. Um, I don't hate that, but I need to get an energy before I use Guzma. That's the issue. So, it'd have to be a top deck. And if they keep going through elixirs, though, uh, we may see some use out of uh, Trash Lange. <clears throat> if for some reason Lucario doesn't get set up appropriately. Alright, so we're going to see Raichu come out. Which is good, because we might actually get to see Lucario take a one-shot then. That would be awesome. And one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Uh, so what is it, 140 there? And then Choice Band is 170, so he's gonna take down Lele. <clears throat> Oh, okay. So we can super rod. Let's do that. Get back these two. Um, and grab door. I thought we had basics in there for some reason. Alright, I'll do this. <clears throat> on this Lele. Ultra Ball. <laughs> Grab Lucario. Alright, so really we just want an energy. We'll get up here and start swinging. Again, we don't want to get greedy like we did last time. Because <clears throat> it caused some issues for us. Dang, we still miss it. Okay. Can't believe we didn't get any energy. That's what kind of surprises me. Uh, we'll click done for now. Oh man. <clears throat> I'm starting to form an opinion about Lucario. So we see an N that might get us into something. I mean, we did have our own Cynthia. Gosh, nothing. Ah, kind of need energy at this point. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 140. I'm gonna have to pass here. Ah, oh, we've we've run out of energy. I mean, we haven't run out of energy, but we're not getting into it. We're not getting our draw supporters. Whenever he ended us out of that Cynthia, it really, uh, really took its toll for sure. <clears throat> and if we, I would be stunned if we lost this. Absolutely stunned. So it's probably a good thing he didn't bring Raichu up to take down Lele, because uh, he could have been a lot further. He's going to Guzma now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 140. Okay, he's just going to take down Garbodor. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Garbodor's Gar ugh, Garbodor is kind of the biggest threat. <coughs> because uh, Lucario's not really doing much. Hmm. All I need to do is just get one energy. It doesn't matter what kind. And I can use Ultra Ball to get our other Lucario. Uh, and take down this um, Raichu with one shot. That's, uh, that's the target right now. <coughs> <clears throat> Bring up this Lele. Oh, yes, okay. We get to play. Um, I'm going to get rid of the um, experience share and the choice band on the Pikachu on the bench. Um, then we're going to dump... How many Guzmas have I gone through? No, I've gotten rid of float zones. I'm not too worried about those because um, I don't need them for uh, <clears throat> don't need them for uh, Garbotoxin. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And real quick, I was going to say, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video. Um, this past Friday, I actually did my first uh, streaming. Uh, and that was really enjoyable. It was on Twitch. Um, so, the reason I say that is, tomorrow night, uh, actually the day that you're watching this video when this comes out, um, I will be streaming again on Twitch for the second time. Um, at 9 p.m. Central, Tuesday night. Uh, it's the day that this video is coming out. I'm actually going to stream this deck. Uh, and maybe we'll look at some of the other Lucario decks before I record those for YouTube. Um, so please stop by. I'd really enjoy it, guys. Uh, had a decent group last time, and so hoping to get some more of you guys to come hang out. 
uh, like I said, 9 central, 9 p.m. central, uh, Tuesday night. Uh, I will be streaming. <clears throat> it's uh, The Twitch channel is uh, the Deckbox channel, all one word. Um, so yeah, that's where, where you'll be able to find me. And then of course, if you're seeing this today, early in the day, just go follow me now. That way, whenever I uh, go to uh, go to uh, live, you'll know. You'll get a, a little update. So, just a little FYI there. So now our biggest hurdle is going to be Mew, actually. Oh, I need to use a nuzzle. Are you kidding me? <coughs> That's okay. Um, so I want to attach this guy. But how do I want to do this? Because I could very easily <coughs> take down Pikachu. But... But then Mew could very easily take down a Lucario if I'm not careful. Um, but it can't hit me. It can only hit me with an attack from something on the field. If I get rid of Pikachu, there's no Raichu. Then he can't hit me for weakness with Lele. He can hit me for weakness with my attacks, but he doesn't have the energy. Yes, okay. That is what we will do. We will take down Lele. Or Pikachu. Same thing. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, so now I just got to take down one more Pokemon. Um, uh, of course, he's going to bring him up. There's nothing he could... Now, if he gets enough energy on him, he can use Psychic, but he doesn't have enough. Uh, and of course he can't like elixir to the active <clears throat> so we can hit him for 60 at least we can two shot him uh, that's not bad I'm trying to think if we've already yeah we dumped our choice bands already okay so no more choice bands the only one that we have is the active any scoops okay awesome that came way too close uh, I wasn't happy with how close that was but uh, you can see the strength of Lucario it's just I couldn't, for some reason the energy just wasn't there. I know I dumped too much early on, um, but that's fine. So we go up another step in the ladder, get some nice old school cards, which by the way, guys, if you didn't know, it, I don't know if you if you haven't been on PTCGO yet, um, they updated the ladder and it is a good one. You've got computer search, which is just insane and I don't have one, so I'm gonna be pushing to get that. And then the full art N uh, from way, way back in the day, um, so super awesome plus all the old school packs from plasma blast uh that's really nice so yeah if, you, if you're on ptcgo uh i would definitely hop on now and we may actually get a pack tonight because i'm on a i'm on a win streak so i should be getting more uh more points for this <coughs> so let's try to win this one get ourselves a pack and have some fun with it uh metal water psychic uh, so probably a metal deck with uh, Alolan Vulpix. <clears throat> so the good thing is we should be able to outspeed this. We should be able to. Um, and they should go through lots of items. Ugh. Gross. And we go first. So I'm not going to touch anything yet. I'll leave that for now. I don't want to dump this. But I may have to and just super rot it back. Or stretcher. We have options. Oh, we have a rainbow energy and that's it. <coughs> um, I'll put this down and I will rainbow energy and I will sycamore. Have to. Uh, we'll get desperate here. Good, good. Okay, we got stuff. We got stuff. And we get a strong energy, which is awesome. And we get our parallel. So we'll hold on to everything the way it is now. <coughs> and maybe we can make something happen. So we're going to see a Bridget, uh, let's see, we can swing for 30, we can two shot a Rangaroo, <clears throat> or we can two shot Cosmon. <clears throat> oh 
<clears throat> and of course we're gonna end them, which is good. Uh, get them out of those two cards. Um, I'm gonna use parallel now because all those cards out there are pretty important. <clears throat> Got rid of his draw support, that's good. Uh, we'll put this on the active and we'll end. Alright, sweet. So we're gonna have three Ryalu out. The downside is we do not have our uh, Lucario yet, but that's okay. Um, they're not really threatening too much. <coughs> and um, we have Cynthia, so we can get through some more cards. We just have to watch out for rare candy, so Galio. That's going to be our biggest issue. And we have to make sure that we keep uh, ending their beacons. So he's getting a Skylight, he's probably getting rare candy, and he's probably getting so Galio. Yep. <clears throat> so that is no bueno for us. Um, we're going to have to really play this one close to the chest. Uh, we need him to dump a lot of items. Um, so he dumped one Max Potion. Depending on how many he's playing, if we can get him to dump enough max potion, we can just two shot the um, <clears throat> the uh, Solgaleo. Don't know why I forgot that. First, he's gonna get some energy going, cause why not? One sixty. Okay. There goes Soul Burst GX. So yeah, I need to uh, I need to start setting up for another one because this active is gonna get knocked out. Um, we will dump and choice band here yeah. because we're gonna be two shotting anyway. Uh, we gotta get our super on <coughs> or structure either one. Uh, so we're gonna get to actually swing with the attack. It's going to be 140. And he'll one-shot us. Uh, we can, we're close to being able to shut down abilities. I know I could put on that one, but I don't want to put on one with energy. It seems silly. Shuffle three back. Grab you guys. <clears throat> and we'll use Aura Strike. 140. So not a horrible start. I would have liked to have taken a knockout before he got the Sogalio set up. Uh, this might be one of our tougher matchups because we don't really have a way to one-shot anything unless he just blows through a ton of items, which he's used to. So we're only swinging for 20 still because, of course, they have resistance. He uses an N, which is actually good for us. Um, Going to get a couple extra cards. <clears throat> we have potential for another uh, Lucario. He hurts himself if he uses Max Potion um, by getting rid of those energies, so I don't think that'll happen. We are going to take the knockout on this. The problem is he has another, you know, he's got the Cosmog in the back, uh, so that's our biggest, biggest issue. I don't know why he attached the Choice Band. It's kind of overkill. <clears throat> uh, put this guy out. We are going to be able to shut down abilities, so that's good. Uh, get another Ryolu out. Trubbish, and get rid of N because we're just gonna sycamore. Uh, get our Rayo or Lucario. <clears throat> I'm going to attach to a benched Ryolu because there's a strong chance this one will get knocked out. Uh, I'll play this down, and we'll sycamore. So no abilities on his side or ours, of course. Um, we do get Garbotoxin. What are we looking at? One, two, three. And he actually gave us an item by putting that choice band on. Um, kind of hurt himself by doing that. <clears throat> so we're tied up for a piece. We just have to somehow get ahead of him. 
Um, he's, he's probably got the Solgaleo in hand. There's really no reason he wouldn't. <clears throat> yep, there's a heavy ball. And again, he's, he's attaching this choice band like it matters. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. I don't know the purpose. I guess just you have it, play it, why not? Did he fail it? Oh, man. Okay. So he should have used that super rod first. Please don't have a way to get it. Okay, so now he's going to end and try to hit it. Please don't hit it. That would be awesome. I can't believe that. I can't believe he did that. <coughs> okay, he gets another heavy ball. Dang, we almost had it. <laughs> I was really excited for a second there. All right. Um, so Sun still strike. He's taking a knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 140. We're swinging for 120 with Garbotoxin. So why not? Let's hope he doesn't have Max Potion. Um, he still he still has to get the energy on. Um, so we can't do that. Let's get this going. Um, put put Flowstone on this guy. We'll use Cynthia. <coughs> Alright, we'll get Lucario out here, get him going. Um, yeah, we'll just let Trash Lander swing first. Let me let me do some math. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is 140, which is 120. And then this guy will be able to swing take a knockout. Okay, I just want to make sure. Um, I'd rather keep the one prizer out there. <clears throat> Let's get some more of these guys back. And trash lanch for half the damage just about um, he's probably gonna bring up no he can't use his ability so he can't bring up um, so Galio prison unless of course he gets a float stone which that could cause problems for us <clears throat> I'd be surprised if he didn't play a heavy count of it he didn't get it did he dump any more items if he did then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think he did. Dang, okay. Had he done that, we would have actually just taken the knockout with um, um, Garbodor. Do this. Do that, why not? <clears throat> so then we just have to take two pretty easy knockouts, if you ask me. Uh, let me see here. Got two strong in there, we got one here. I'm gonna hold on to that Lucario for now. So now that we get this guy in the discard, um, we got another item in there. So Garbodor's now swinging for 140. One more item and he could one shot the prism. <clears throat> I'd wanna use Garbodor as much as possible right now because we're trying to win the prize trade. Um, so let's see if we can pull this one out. He has no target for energy right now, uh, and even if he gets a target, I'm just going to Guzma, because he's just going to bring up like a, a Cosmog or something, um, <clears throat> and I'll just end up Guzma. He, got, he couldn't use his uh, uh, super boost energy, he probably just dumped a bunch more items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine, ten. So he gets his abilities back, I assume that's what he's going to go for. Um, no. Okay. I guess it, I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. Um. <clears throat> hmm. So he's setting it up. We have Guzma. Um, they can't one shot Lucario. They can one shot Garb. That's fine. I don't care. Um, put this here again I'm just gonna hold um, my Lucario in hand just in case <coughs> shouldn't need it <coughs> and then I have another Guzma to follow up I can just take an easy knockout on Vulpix easy all right this this deck was fun uh, I the first match I know is a little bumpy 
Um, but the fact that I came out and was able to uh, was able to take down Solgaleo makes me pretty happy. He's still trying for Cosmog. I mean, there's nothing he can do at this point. There, there's absolutely there's nothing. Um, oh, dude, that's fine. He's got so many items in his discard. Um, now, if he takes down Garbodor, that's a different story. <clears throat> Oh, but he didn't have the energy to do it. Alright, so... GG, sir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 240, 220, and I could use Guzma. But I'm not going to. Because we play Garbodor for a reason. Like I said, just kind of clean sweep everything. So awesome. Uh, we see two wins with the deck. Um... I have not lost with this deck so far. I only played one game before this, but uh, it, not only have I not lost, but it, it seems like it's a pretty easy win. So, uh, yeah, so I'm very, very happy with that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's pull the uh, let's pull the list up here for you guys one more time before we close it out. Uh, Luke Carbador, Garbacario, I don't care what you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for, for checking it out. Um, like I said, tonight, uh, the day that you're seeing this video, um, 9 p.m. Central, uh, I will be on Twitch. The Deck Box channel is the title of the Twitch channel. We're going to go on there, have some fun. We're going to play this list a lot more, uh, kind of showcase it and see how it does. And then I'm going to also showcase some of the upcoming decks that we'll have coming out on YouTube for you guys. So be sure to join me for that. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, follow me on Twitter at J3T8LAK. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, the Deck Box TCG is the page. And uh, be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we just please subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Um, and as usual, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I have been Jordan with the Deck Box, where I want to know what's in your box. Have a great night, guys.